Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to create CSV file for each Excel sheet from Excel files in SSIS package. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here, I have multiple Excel file files sitting in a source folder. So I have two of them here. And let's open the first one. This has two sheets. So sheet one has the ID, name, and date of birth. And the sheet two has totally different columns. So what I would like to do, I would like to create a CSV file from this Excel. The CSV, what we would like to do, we will have to have Excel file name underscore sheet name. So that's how we would know that, okay, this sheet is created from this Excel file and this Excel sheet. If I will go to the second um, Excel file, I will see only sheet. Uh, there is sheet two and there is ID, full name and date of birth. So it doesn't really matter how many columns you have in each of the sheet, what is the name of the sheet, as long as you have Excel files sitting in your source folder, uh, they can have single, they can have multiple sheets on each of them, it will create those CSV file for each of those uh, Excel sheets uh, from each, each of the file. Here I have uh, two files, so total sheets we have is the three, so in CSV files uh, that should be created, uh, they, they should be equal to three. Here is my destination folder and that's where I would like to create those uh, CSV. Open the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools and we are going to create a new package, SSIS packages, new SSIS package and let's rename this one, create CSV per sheet. I have already video how to create a CSV file per Excel, uh, CSV file per Excel file, you can watch that as well. So different scenarios um, I'm covering in this series. Uh, let's go ahead and create this variable. We are going to call this one folder path. That's where I will save the folder path where our Excel files are. I'm going to go to the source folder here, copy this path and save it there. Now, I would need to create a destination path as well. Why? Because in production, nation path, in production, QA, UAT, these paths can be different. So it's a good idea to create a variable and use them in a configuration. So on each of the environment, you will be just making a changes in configuration file or a table, and your package should be able to pick from there. Also, one more variable I would like to create is called a file delimiter. So tomorrow, if uh, uh, your company decide we don't want this uh, comma delimiter, uh, we want uh, this to be pipe. So here we have comma now. Uh, we will just go to configuration, and if we have used this variable in configuration, we will change the value to the pipe or a tilde or whatever. Let's say at the rate sign or whatever they like. So we can change that, and it will uh, create the CSV files or flat files or text files, whatever you call them, with this uh, delimiter. Uh, here, right now, we are going to go with the comma now, and I will test with the pipe later once it is done. Now we will bring uh, the script task here. We are going to use these variables in script task. So you uh, just map them here, destination path, uh, folder path. Uh, why I call this one a folder path? I should be calling this one actually source path. Or yeah, I will call it because there, there could be uh, source path and destination path. That, that's much better than uh, just the folder path. So here we call this, uh, let's see, let's see, we have destination path. I'm making a few changes by myself. I want to show you uh, if you take my script and later you have different name of variables, what happened and how you handle those situations. So source path, destination path and delimiter. So all good. And then we are going to go ahead and you can hit OK. Uh, save your package before you go and edit, uh, edit script. And we will be going to techbrothersit.com. Once you are there, we will be going to SSIS video tutorial. And we are going to copy some code from there so we can use in our package. Uh, this uh, uh, script task editor is open. And I'm going to go to the script task here in the S uh, SSIS video tutorial. And here, how to create a CSV file per Excel sheet. So right here, number nine. That's where you're going to click. I will put the link in the description as well. 
I have a written on this post. If you are in the office, you can't watch the entire video. Uh, you can sometimes they don't let you watch it. You can follow this post from here. It has the pictures and everything, and it is easy. The only namespace we need to add is the system.io here. So we can use that. And uh, one more thing uh, we need to use uh, is uh, a namespace for uh, OLED DB. Uh, and that as we are making a connection to the uh, Excel. So I'm missing here. I'm going to correct these uh, information on the blog as well. So let's go ahead and add that. You can copy from here if you want. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the here namespaces. Click here using systems.io. Uh, That's one namespace. So we can use different functions from here and say systems.data.oleddb. So these are the two namespaces we'll be using. Let's hit save. Now come to the script. You can copy from here all the way, but sometime, uh, as you can see that some part is uh, kind of cut here. If you will copy, it will copy. But in case uh, you don't feel comfortable from here, you can go to the top and say script to download. And uh, that's where uh, you have entire script I have uploaded to the uh, you know, Google uh, Drive and uh, you can just copy as as you can see here namespaces are all, also added there uh, so I'm gonna go ahead right click say select all copy I'm going to open a notepad because it is much easier it's clean way so you can copy my code from here and I'm gonna go to the uh, public word main that's the code I need to copy so here in the public word main starting from here go all the way and uh, we are going to go till here so before dts dot task result uh, we are going to copy everything right click copy and come back to the uh, tab editor and just paste it here now as uh, you have created the variables and the, your variables might be different from my variables names uh, let's do the check so we are coming back here i have created these local variables and i'm mapping them to the uh, my ssis variables so he, here see we have source folder path and i have source folder path but now i have created as source path so that's the name uh, this if i will run my package is going to create a problem it will not run so here i just have to type whatever i have created so source path and here in the destination, I have destination path and the file delimited. Instead of that, I have file delimiter. So now we are good. We created these local variables here, map them with our SSIS variable so it can use the value. Uh, because I'm uh, the one reason I'm using uh, these variables here and setting the value because I don't want to use this whole line everywhere in my code. So I, I can use these variables and they are very short as compared to writing DTS dot variables and all that. Then uh, what we are doing now, uh, we are uh, using this, uh, uh, creating a variable and here it is going to get a directory info and pro from a source, of, a source folder path. So it is going to get uh, us all those uh, file names and everything, whatever we need uh, and we can use them. So this is going to be a collection of that information. And here we have a files and we are saying directory dot get files. So this will get the files for us. And once we have the collection of file names and all that we can loop through and use them in the later code. Here I'm saying string full path just to declare it as a, and just set to the a blank. For now, get one book or Excel file at a time. So we are looping through. We are using for each file info file in uh, these files. So remember here we uh, loaded uh, all the files information, uh, file names and everything here. So we are looping through that and getting one at a time. Then here I'm declaring a variable called string file name set to the blank. Uh, full path should be equal to source folder path and uh, backslash uh, our file name. That's the complete path. When we have that, we can use uh, uh, in the OLEDB connection uh, for our uh, Excel. And I use this file name, file name dot name dot replace. I replace the dot XLS and uh, with the blank because this file name I can use uh, for my CSV. I don't want the XLS uh, at the end. So I remove that part. And here just uh, showing that, okay, this is the file we are processing. If you don't want it, you can comment it uh, or if you just want to delete it, you can delete, but I leave it for now. So we can uh, 
uh, test uh, what file we are processing at the moment. Here we are declaring two more variables as in a connection string and HDR. So connection string is equal to, uh, sorry, HDR header is equal to yes because each of our file, uh, sorry, Excel sheet has the header and the connection string provider is equal to microsoft.ac.oledb12.0. Uh, okay, here is my source. Uh, that's a file full path. Read that Excel and make that connection. Oh, and uh, here we are creating a connection use it by using this connection string. Now get the sheet name. Once uh, you have that uh, connection made to the Excel, we are getting uh, uh, the OLEDB schema table into the memory. Once we have that there, here I'm declaring a, a variable. So you see string uh, sheet name, I could have just set the value to the blank up but I write two lines. So that tells you like I'm not a core core uh, C sharp developer, I'm a, a more uh, BI. Uh, who has a uh, knowledge of ETL, SSRS, SSIS, but uh, not uh, C sharp coder, you know, but that doesn't matter. You can clean this code wherever you feel like, uh, you know, um, I, 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 you will not offend me if you will make uh, improvements to the code. So go ahead and wherever you feel like you are better in writing C sharp and uh, declare better variable names and all those kind of things, go ahead and do it. Now here, uh, I'm setting this sheet name and uh, now we are going to read those uh, sheet names uh, from uh, this uh, data table. Once uh, we make sure, okay, if uh, data sheet table name dot to string dot contain, if it does contain the dollar sign, and uh, then we are going to read a column called table name value. So we are going to read that and save into the sheet name. So it is going to loop through and uh, then we will be saving a sheet name uh, one at a time. Once we save it, we will process it. We will create a CSV, come back uh, for the next sheet and do it. Uh, now we have here, we are already be command. And uh, this is a command we are going to use a select asterisk from sheet name. So we are going to read the entire data from the Excel sheet and load into the data table. So we fill that. And uh, once uh, that is filled, we remove the dollar sign from uh, the sheet name because uh, we want to create the CSV file name uh, that will be our Excel file name underscore our sheet name. So we don't want the dollar sign added to that part. And here we are saying create CSV file and load data to it uh, from a sheet. Now the, uh, we are creating a new instance for a, a stream writer and here is our destination folder then backslash file name. So if you remember here we have file name right here. So file name is the uh, that's Excel file name and we have replaced the, the .xls with the blank. So it is just uh, the Excel file name till here. This one. That's it. And now we are going to go back here and the rest uh, we are adding underscore it. If you don't like underscore hyphen you want it, uh, you can have it. And then we have sheet name and we are adding dot .csv to it. So uh, that's uh, pretty much it right header row to the this is uh, going to write the header row and uh, then uh, uh, next uh, it is going to write the data so and then close it that's all and uh, just one uh, quick uh, uh, overview I want to give you so each time it's going to read uh, a new file then it's going to come down and then uh, create a sheet so here this part it is uh, going to create a new CSV file load that sheet. So if there are multiple uh, sheets, it is, this part is going to loop through multiple times. Once that's done, it is going to take the next uh, file and repeat the inner part. Uh, and it will be exactly the number of time we have the number of sheets. So for each file, then uh, uh, we have inner for each, uh, that's for each sheet. So good. Save it. Let's go to destination. We don't have anything in destination right now. I'm going to close this one. Start. Okay, this is processing this uh, file. Okay, hit okay. This, now it is doing the second one. It's done. That's pretty quick. Let's go back uh, to the destination folder and we see three, three CSV files uh, are created. Let's uh, right click here and uh, uh, open with the notepad. This is the first uh, sheet. Uh, and you can say sheet one, remember? We have done that and this is second sheet from our Excel. Let's open with notepad. This should have more columns and all that information. So you can see that. 
and this is a from our second Excel file that has only sheet two. So right click, open with Notepad. So it has only one record, and then you can see the columns. Uh, that's great. Now, if you uh, see this information, this is a comma. Let's uh, remove this. Uh, and uh, as I was telling you, you can go ahead and change uh, the value for our file delimiter variable uh, in the package or by using configuration. And once you do it, it is going to create all those files with that delimiter. So I did a, a pipe here. I mean, this is really excellent. Once you create this package, it can be used for anything. So and you just provide source path, uh, source uh, folder path, and the destination folder path and delimiter. It's gonna take it, it's gonna do the thing for you. Uh, you can save it as a template and uh, use it for multiple places. Uh, let's go and run the package again. It's processing one, processing two. You don't need these message boxes. You go ahead and remove it once you are done with the de development and testing. Uh, this is just I'm doing it so I can show you things. Right click here, go open with the notepad and you can see that now it is created with the um, pipe delimited. So let's go to the second one, take a look and see this is created with pipe delimited. Great. So we are done uh, how to create uh, uh, CSV file for each of the sheet uh, from Excel files uh, and I have another video how to create a CSV file per Excel uh, file so if you have multiple file with the same metadata or same column structure you will be creating uh, one CSV and loading uh, data to it uh, from each of the Excel uh, file I hope uh, these videos will help uh, and um, you learn something out of these thanks very much for your time and I appreciate I will see you guys in the next video